what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here what's up hello i'm joe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and trusting me to entertain you make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up okay so as you've seen by the title of today's video I'm going to be trying out a bunch of random stuff. I kind of did a mini Ulta haul. I'm doing a foundation wear test right now. The foundation wear test and review and first impressions will actually be up before this one. So if you want to click up here or up here, I'm not sure. I'll link it up above to see which foundation I'm trying and how it wears, how it's doing. But I'm doing that video separate. So this is for today's video. For today's video, we are me trying a bunch of random products that I haven't tried yet and have been wanting to try. So it's it's either new products or new to me products, their first impressions, all of them. And so these are my favorite type of videos to film. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show you what I got. So this is a product from Milani. There's actually two and I'm going to tell you why. Um, I have been wanting to try these bronzers for a long time. They were Jeffree Star approved. Jeffree Star loves them. A bunch of other people love them. And I have been wanting to try them really badly. Well, after watching a few videos, I noticed that the um, different shades, one is like, people are saying is like great for contour and another is great for bronzer. So I got the two shades, one that would feel like would bronze me well, and the other one that they said was great for uh, contour shade. So the contour shade is this more cool tone shade here, and this one is in 02 Sun Kissed. This one right here, and then this one obviously is a lot more warm tone, and it's in the um, shade 03 Suntan. So I'm going to use this for contour and this one for bronzer. And then I got a new highlight. Now this is a fairly new product. This is the Revlon Skin Light Skin Lights Highlighter. Now the things that I, I got the shade Daybreak Glimmer in 201. The things that I've been seeing on this highlighter is how it literally melts into the skin and looks like a really natural glow without being glittery. Um, which I can appreciate so I really 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 wanted to try this it is a newer product um, but also new to me I've never tried it and then the next thing I picked up was this Juvia's Place palette I don't remember who I was watching review this but I was like oh my god that palette looks like the exact palette I would need for my everyday use I don't buy shadow palettes a lot just for the simple fact of I have a crap ton and if I really need a shade I feel like somewhere in my palettes I could find one but this one literally just screamed to me. It's the Chocolates by Juvia's Place. Um, I love their eyeshadow formula but this is literally like my everyday go-to looks. A deeper shimmer or I'll take like concealer and use it as like a matte like uh, halo eye effect but I love the deeper browns and then I love for my transition to be like a mustard yellow or a um, more deeper red so this is literally like my dream palette for my everyday looks so this is gonna be the perfect palette to take with me on traveling we have like a deep cool tone brown and then more of a warm really deep brown um, and so I'm super 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 excited about this palette so we're gonna be trying that one out today and then I have a mascara which I have been ride or die for my um, pretty vulgar mascara you guys have seen it in previous videos but I have seen this mascara pop up in so many people's videos about being their all-time favorite mascara and I was like okay that's it I have to try it because I think mascara can make or break our look um, but this is the Monas big monosteur big big monosteur I don't know mascara from Lancome um, in the shade 01, uh, big as the new black. So I'm super excited to try this. And then last but not least, I did pick up a different lip gloss shade in the Believe Beauty line from Dollar General. Um, this is not from Ulta, obviously the rest was, but this is from Dollar General. But I wanted to throw it into this because this is another makeup product that I have not tried yet, haven't even opened yet. It still has that security seal on it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I have, again, already have on foundation that I'm actually so far obsessed with. So again, don't forget to go watch that foundations video, um, because... Oh, so far so good but anyways I already have my foundation on and I already set it with powder um as you guys that have been watching re watching me recently know I don't really wear concealer anymore unless I'm absolutely in need of it I usually just bring my foundation up underneath my eyes just for the sake of I like the way it looks better um but first we're gonna go in this is the compact 
it's very cool tone. It kind of smells funny. Not funny, but yeah, kind of funny. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go in with my uh, Morphe E34 brush. And this is what I usually use to bronze. But I'm going to use this like as my contour brush just to see um, the shade and just kind of use it as like just to see what color we get out of it just to see oh yeah it definitely adds that depth um oh it's a beautiful shade for contour i am starting to put a little but look at that, that look at oh, look at that Ooh, i love it so yeah it's doing the job as far as that beautiful contour it's very easy to get too orange when you're trying to contour. People will use a very warm bronzer to try to create that contour shade. Oh my god, that is a beautiful shade. Look at that. Like, I'm loving that. Um, but people use a little bit too warm. This one's a perfect cool tone without being too ashy. Um, in the pan it looks a lot ashier than it is applying on the skin so that's awesome um but I'm super super excited about this I'm gonna go ahead and take it up on my forehead you know what I've noticed though if I don't use my cream bronzer on my forehead you can see like I cannot get that bronzer to like the powder bronzer to stick in my hairline so that's the funny thing but this definitely is a win this is also my first time trying this formula from milani um i love a lot of milani products so i wasn't like super like surprised that it blended like a dream look how beautifully blended not patchy it looks on my cheeks like i'm absolutely loving this formula but i definitely love this color for contour um it says it's a smooth matte finish bronzer with hydrating argon and monoi oil for natural sun kits warmth. Maybe worn alone or use this contour for a sculpted look. Tropical coconut scented, blendable and streak free. Definitely blendable and streak free. Weightless and long wearing. I totally get those vibes. Oh, I guess now that I've swirled my brush, I do get the coconut. At first, it's kind of smelled like, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. Um, But it was not like... A tropical scent but now that it's been stirred up it definitely smells that okay so now to warm up my face um I really could leave it like that if I wanted to but I love a really warm bronzer especially in the spring summertime um, but I would definitely do the two steps because I always do a different shade for my contour than I do my bronzer I don't usually just bronze I, I do both um, so I'm gonna go in with that suntan shade and use it to warm up my skin again it is a much warmer bronzer so we're gonna tap off the excess and see what we can do to make this more warm and keep it above the contour line oh yeah so that definitely warmed us up more for a more bronzy look um whoa yeah definitely definitely warmed us up compared to this side it looks just contoured this one looks a lot more bronze um and i love it so ha that's a win because this was very inexpensive I know for a fact it was under $10. I just don't know specifically what I paid for it. But it was definitely under $10. And look how... First of all, the formula is amazing. But second of all, look how... I have a lot of static in my hair right now. <laughs> look how well it wears on the skin. Like the way it looks on the skin. I'll have to like chisel this out a little bit. I kind of brought it down a little too far. But um, it blends into the skin effortlessly and is not patchy like this formula it's very hard to find a formula that I absolutely adore with bronzers and this one just did it for me like what so I went ahead and sharpened up the cheeks a little bit with the powder and now I'm going to go in with this Milani blush since we're on the Milani kick the um, 08 T rose shade in the powder blush it's a very beautiful universal shade I'm going in with my Olimar cosmetics um brush I don't know oh it is it's a complexion brush so there's that I'm just gonna tap this right above my bronzer oh yes I love this shade and I love this blush it wears really 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 well 
Okay, so I sprayed my face with a little bit of setting spray just to kind of melt everything together and give me kind of a sticky base for this highlight. And now we're going to try the Revlon um, Skin Lights, the new Revlon Skin Lights. And again, this is the shade Daybreak Glimmer. Let's go ahead and swatch it. So it feels very soft, very soft and looks very promising, but let's just see how it applies on the face. So I'm just dipping my brush into it. This is the Morphe M510. And we're just going to take it on the, whoa, what, oh my sweet Jesus, what, 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 are y'all seeing this, what? Whoa, that is beautiful. Let's put some on our fingertip and just kind of. Oh my gosh. This is a beautiful highlighter. Like all the things everybody claimed on it is exactly what I was hoping it would be. Um, especially for like a drugstore highlight um it's definitely giving me the uh amrezy highlight from anastasia beverly hills that's the vibes i'm getting off of it um which is so good because this is a very inexpensive dupe for that the color of it and everything are giving me those vibes but wow the formula is stunning um holy crap um whoa Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with that Milani um, Sun-Kissed Silky Matte Shade and the uh, Cool Tone one and kind of just contour my nose just a bit because uh, if you guys have watched me in the past, I have been terrified of nose contours, like terrified. But since I started using the cream bronzer, I typically do cream I add that step since I cut out primers um for the most part and concealer I've added in the step of contouring my nose and using cream contour before I use powder I don't use just cream contour I, I also use cream contour um and I've been loving it even when I don't perfect it I just like the way it looks in pictures I just am not trying to be super perfect with it and I just it just adds something to the middle of the face I love it okay so I'm actually gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back Alright, so now we are going to, now that I've got the brows on, um, spread my face one more time because I did add um, uh, the nose contour and a little bit of inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight, all the good things. My brows aren't looking the best they've ever have, but I'm not worried about that. I'm excited about this palette. So I'm actually going to go into these brushes that I got in BoxyCharm, these lavish brushes. And I'm going to grab this um, brush right here. It's the Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here. They don't have shade names, but this like mustard looking orange one. It looks a lot more mustard orange um, on the viewfinder when in person it kind of looks. It does have that orangey yellow shade to it, but it does look a little more tan than it does pull that mustard shade. I'm going to put this as just like all over in my crease on both sides. And I'm not surprised that just like every other Juvia's Place palette, these blend like a dream. Um, if you guys have not tried Juvia's Place, it is a very affordable um, option for eyeshadow. And it's just their beautiful quality. I'm not so much loving this brush for the crease um area i feel like it would be great for exactly what it says it would be great for the blending portion but putting it all over this area is probably not the best but it'll be great for the crease area so now what i'm going to do is take that darker red shade here and kind of place it in the crease and we're just gonna start on the outer edge and I just kinda go in like circular motions on the outer edge and then I just kinda work it into the crease with what's left and just blend because we are gonna add additional color so it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. So I actually, the look that I'm going for today, obviously I've not used the Juvia's Place palette typically, 
the the look that I'm talking about that I get all the compliments on usually is when I'm using the Tati Beauty palette to achieve the look that I do but this look that I'm doing right now is the exact look that people ask me to film all the time um, and I'm using that same type of tones and colors to create that look so that with the end result is very similar to that that everyone asked me about I used to be really into which I'm very into the halo eye that's my favorite thing to do um, where you got the deep on the outer and inner corner and in the crease and then you have the center a lot broader so I've been really into that type of look um, but typically for me I'll put a shimmer on that empty space in the middle that's a typical for me but lately the look that I've been getting so many compliments on is I'll actually take a little bit of my foundation and dab it in the center I don't set it or anything I just let the foundation be or a concealer or something I just use my finger to tap it out and that is how I create the halo eye look and I've been getting a lot of compliments on it which keeps that eye look very matte all right, so um, I'm going to go in with this brush here. This is the Lavish Eye uh, Shading Brush. And I'm going to use this brush to dip into the warmer deep tone brown on this side. And just pick up a good amount of the product and then tap off the excess. Because this is a new brush, so you want to coat it pretty well. And just get the excess off. And then I'm just going to press it on the outer corner there. And once you have the product pressed down, you just kind of go back and forth and the thing I love about brushes this size is you can use this brush to the outer corner and the inner corner <clears throat> so I'm gonna do that one more time just to build press it on that outer corner and blend it inward I love 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 this shade brown it's so so pretty and then now I'm going to take and do the same thing on the inner corner. You want to be very careful because it's very easy to muddy up your inner corner highlight when doing this step. If you do your inner corner highlight first. I have always been a fan of doing my inner corner highlight before I do the rest of my eye look. Because I feel like that it blends better into my eye look when it's down first so that's just a preference that's not necessarily everyone's truth but it's my truth and my preference so we're just placing on this outer corner and blending inward with that and the key to these type of eye looks is they are very simple they're very easy to do but if you want them to look neat and not so muddy, you have to take your time, which I am terrible about. I would much rather do eye looks. I get really impatient when it comes to um, my eyeshadow. I spend a lot more time on my face than I do the eyeshadow. I'm just kind of dragging the excess product through the crease like that just to kind of blend it together. So as you can see, we have that gradient of different shades going down from the mustard yellowish shade into the red into the dark. And that's the look that I've been doing lately that everyone has been asking about. And then I always take the um, or, like orange or reddish shade, whichever one I use in the transition. I'm actually going to go in with the reddish shade with that same brush and kind of buff it on the lower lash line. And I won't bring it all the way into the inner corner, maybe about midway a little over. And just buff that out. And then you're going to take a more defined brush. I accidentally dipped into the wrong shade. And you're going to press your deepest shade against the last line. And so creating that same type of gradient effect but on your lower lash line like so I really love this brush this is my first time using this brush I've used some like it but this one particular and this brand is my first time and I really really like it all right now I'm going to take that deepest warm brown shade that I used on the outer and inner corner and I'm going to use this brush right here it's also in that same lavish set this is the um, brow groomer but I'm going to use the brow end and just kind of tap into that dark shade and just kind of press and sweep just a little bit against the lash line with that darkish shade and then when you add your you could go in with a nude liner if you wanted to but when you add for me I, when I do smoky eyes like this I like to have a 
dark brown or black in the waterline it kind of just brings the whole smoky eye effect together so then we have a very like deep brown smoky eye so i really 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 love that method so first what i'm going to do before i go ahead and throw on that liner is i'm going to take the same foundation that i used on my face which was this um foundation here and i'm going to press it into the center of my eye and then once i have it good and pressed on there i'll take a clean finger and blend the edges and that's how I get the matte halo eye effect and you don't want to spread it out too far on the edges you want to keep it try to keep it in the center because then you lose the halo eye if you try to go too far in or too far out with the foundation and worst case scenario if you do happen to go too far out or too far in you can always take a brush go back in with the same brush that you created that outer and inner corner layer and just don't add any product just kind of blend it inward towards that halo eye and then there you have it okay i went ahead and put the eyeliner on the lower lash line and in the water line and now we're going to try out the um lancome monosseur mascara this thing looks ginormous holy cow um whoa there's 0.33 ounces of product in here i feel like that's kind of a lot let's see how much product is in this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel? Does it say? Yeah. 0.26 ounces and this is 0.33 ounces. So that gives you an idea of the difference. I've actually never seen this brush, but this is what the brush looks like. It has a lot of amazing claims on it. So here's to hoping that it's actually exactly those things. So I'm just going to do my base layer i just try to coat all my lashes before i try to build or create the look i want make sure you get those inner lashes and i almost messed up that eye look but luckily that mascara hit too low to completely mess me up okay so it coats each lash individually really really well i don't know if you guys can see that but once I have my first layer set and all my lashes coated, I like to go to the next eye and do the same thing while that layer kind of dries. And then I'll build. And I actually usually will go in and do my lips before I do a second layer, layer um, just to give it a good like drying time. But for the sake of this video, we won't do that. We will... We will just use a fan or something to speed up the drying. Okay, so this is the first just base layer. I barely just coated. It brushed through my lashes beautifully. It looks amazing, um, especially for just one layer. Like, that looks really good. So, um, holy mess. I went ahead and did my um, second layer of mascara and then put some on the lower lash line. This mascara is definitely my new favorite mascara. What have I been waiting on? Like, look at this. I don't know if y'all can really see the extra... Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is insane. They're so full, so voluminous, and the brush coated my lower lash line perfectly without getting too clumpy, which is very hard to find when you have a very voluminous, like full mascara to do your lower lash line just as well so that's crazy so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and throw on um oops <laughs> my typical nude lip uh, combo it's the kkw lip liner in nude one and the ulta beauty um bullet lipstick in barely there and then we're going to try out our new lip gloss okay now that our lips are on we are going to try out this believe beauty again from dollar general this is in the shade ethereal um, it is a beautiful like shimmery. It looks like it has like a nude with a hint of peach um, Shimmer luster shine lip gloss. So I'm super excited to try this out. I have not yet I went ahead and opened it because that is really hard to open. Oh, oh. oh. I just had it on that bottom lip 
Oh my god, this is like the perfect combo to my favorite nude lip. Oh my gosh, how is it that everything that I just tried out was a win? Seriously, <gasps> I'm obsessed with this lip combo. That lip gloss just did it for me and it is literally, I think, $4 what y'all everything was a win i'm obsessed with the way everything turned out there's not one thing that i tried today that i was like no it wasn't it for me um yeah i'm obsessed i'm obsessed this was a very successful first impressions new makeup haul so if you like this type of video please give it a thumbs up and tell me what you want to see in the comments and if you aren't already subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye